Good news, everybody! Parallax Continues, the long-awaited update for Parallax 2.0, has officially been released on Secan. It has been available on Patreon for a while while it was being built, but now it is free for everyone. It's not just about stunning graphics and collidable objects. This version actually runs more smoothly than the previously available 2.0. It's important to note that the new version is incompatible with the old version, so make sure to back up your save before switching, and definitely don't run both. Not every location looks drastically different on the surface, but almost all planets got an upgrade at higher altitudes. I'm not going to show you all of them because part of the fun is seeing them for the first time. It'll make you want to restart a new save based on exploration. However, I do have to say Min Mist is probably my favorite so far. Look at that glassy surface. So, now onto the bulk of what I wanted to share with y'all, and that is to get the best performance from the mod, especially when your computer isn't the best at gaming. As longtime viewers of my channel may know, I started off with a PC not meant for gaming at all, that would protest heavily every time I played, and yet Parallax 2.0 was always part of my mod list, with collisions too. So here's how you can do it. Back in the day, if you wanted to turn on collisions or improve performance, you had to open up a config file, scroll through the code, and find the lines to change. Nowadays, there's a super handy icon on the toolbar with everything you need. There's a lot in this menu, but only two things that we really need for the sake of this video. First, let's look at collisions. In the previous version, collisions were turned off by default, and in this one, they're turned on. Here you can see that I have them off with a negative one number, but typically it starts with the number two here. Which is a little more challenging than the previous version, as trees are now collidable at this level. If you want more like the previous version, I'd recommend leaving it at 3. So here's a breakdown of what each of the numbers represent in the collision tab and what they will affect. Go ahead and pause here if you need a screenshot for your notes. So there's a couple things you can adjust to affect the performance, but the easiest and least impact one is the density multiplier, which is essentially how many pieces of scatter is given at any given area. Before we change it, let's just zoom out a little bit and take a look at these trees that are close to the KSC. Wildly packed, a nice forest here, but a lot of them. So now let's go ahead and turn down our density multiplier to 0.3. This is where I found the best performance in my previous version, however I'd recommend playing around with it to find the, the sweet spot. As you see here, we have fewer trees, uh, however there's still quite a good amount of density. I don't feel like I really lost much visually. Uh, with that change, but the computer has fewer trees to process. And as we see here on the surface of the MUN, there's still plenty of scatter to go around. And with collisions turned on, you still have the challenge of needing to work your way across a celestial body as opposed to just speeding your way there. Forces the player to play a little differently, approach their challenges uh, with different designs, and come up with the best solution for any given area. It's a lot of fun. I think the collisions just on their own is worth it in this mod because of the challenges it adds to the game. Like even landing. Uh, if you land with your landing gear on a rock that you can't support, it'll tip you over. I really wanted that landing to fail. I really wanted to show a good example of how a rock can mess you up, but unfortunately it landed pretty well. So what I will show you is that it does also give you opportunities, new opportunities, to move around. A little while ago I did a challenge where I drove across the entire planet visiting every point of interest, and would often joke that if they ever gave trees collision, the challenge would be impossible. I'd be curious to see how that changed. Like I mentioned before, there are a few more things you can adjust, such as the quality of shadows and the tessellation of each object, however you'll need to experiment to find the precise setting for your machine. But by simply turning down the amount of scatter, you'll significantly increase your performance without sacrificing the beauty. I've been having so much fun with this mod since I got it a little while ago, and I'm excited to see that it's finally free for y'all to have fun with too. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. I'm Legion, I make Kerbal videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you like this one, think about subscribing, drop me a like, let me know your thoughts, and I will see y'all in the next one. Take care.